Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, having some internet troubles. Oh, you you aren't answering because you are being <laughs> a two and just leaving us to our helplessness. No. Leaving you to your helplessness and me to feed on it. When I started saying okay was the first time you guys could hear me. Yes. I guess so. Um, How is this name pronounced while we have you before someone flips the Ouija board and we lose communication? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Richardson. No. <laughs> I, will, I will physically fight you. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Come on, that's really yeah. good. That was pleasant. <laughs> that was pretty good. I was pretty proud of that. Uh, uh, oh, God. <laughs> so, Listen, hang on. was like two months ago. I left you alone and you didn't get past three words? No. The third word, everything went immediately off the rails and hidden orphanage. What's so funny is that's exactly when my internet <laughs> dropped out. Um, and anyway, her name is Adrienne. Adrienne. <laughs> yeah, with Adrienne. a little bit of stress on the end, but not a ton. Adrienne. Yeah, okay. perfect. I That's Adrienne it. during music class today and spoke with her about her recent string of demerits. It was our first time meeting outside of our quarterly evaluations, and I believe it went well. I can certainly understand Mrs. Richardson's classroom observations concerning... Adrienne's emotional state. She was, of course, intensely shy when we first met. As I understand it, she is similarly withdrawn in her classroom activities and only speak tracks when she absolutely must. Some things she simply will not do. Instead of participating in mandatory group activities, she will sit alone and accept that she will receive a demerit. Before the meeting, I read Mrs. Richardson's parent-teacher report, which allowed me to estimate some about Adrienne's home life. The parents are well educated and come from a prestigious background, but they lack time to properly nurture Adrienne. She is often alone, and when she is not, the parents seem to not understand the importance of warmth and affection when dealing with someone so young. Affirmation. Treat your kids nice. Uh, having two parents of this reserved and icy temperament exerts an inhibition in a child. The child's imagination is subdued but only ostensibly, for it eventually finds its way into regular life. I surmise that I would be able to reach out to Adrienne by way of make-believe. What? Wow. Is... that's... Uh, that's the therapist, right? Uh, the that hand... Really... the hand is the therapist. We are... we oh. are currently the therapist. That is a little child in a school uniform. I see. Is that right? And an apple a day. Um, allows you to poop normally, which is big plus, let me tell you. So I hear. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was hate speech. I need to go <laughs> right out and apologetic tweet tweet right now. No, it's fine. I wasn't. Jesus. That wasn't supposed to be a dig at you. Uh, I promise. <laughs> I need a picture where I'm eating my own lips and my my wife is standing next to me in a uh, short sleeve dress. Uh, I hope you mean your face. Uh, this is a reference to something. Every time a politician gets caught... Oh, they do the grimace. The, the grimace, but it's like the only way I can describe it is like the picture that the media uses is the one where they are like they have drawn their lips into their mouth. That is called pursing your lips. No. Pursing yes. is the opposite direction. Pursing is when you go to like kiss, right? Uh, once again, no. you mean your face. Well, shit. He, it's not right, is he? Hang on. No, I think I think putting them in the purse is pursing them. Puckering is gonna go oh, do a kiss. Damn. All right, let's Let's Google this. The ultimate arbiter of all things. I will accept the ruling. Sit back. Sit back, folks. We're already uh, we're already going. Uh, 
I think it's you put the lips in the uh, purse. Lung dot org. Sorry, lung as in lung? Yes. The American Lung Association has her the lips as um uh lips out like you're making a kissy face. Oh no. Uh I think I have to call my mom. Puckering and pursing appear um, to be the same. Oh no. And what does it mean when you inhale your lips? What is that called? Uh, I have to call my, I have to call my mother. Lips in mouth word. Lips and mouth disease. Uh no. That's a Maybe picture sure. that understands what I'm getting. No, not Google Images, the regular one. Word for pressing upper and lower lips together. Closing uh, your mouth. This is called pursed. What the fuck? Is pursed one of those words where people use it wrong for so long? That it means both? Maybe I don't have to call my mom. Oh, yeah, god we... damn it. It's both, isn't it? Good news, everyone. Anything you do with your lips qualifies as pursing them. No, it's Does that dumber than that. It's dumber than that. You are correct, except in medical situations, in which case I am correct. Oh, no. Yeah, that's real bad. Because, this is like, some hilarious them, malpractice waiting to happen. One of them is grammatically... I am grammatically correct. And no, I, am, I am medically correct, and you are grammatically I'm correct. I'm literarily correct. Yeah. Excuse and, me. Like, excuse me. Neither of those somebody, really think that. Yes, Alpha. Did somebody say malpractice? <laughs> <laughs> I know that perks your ears right up. It sure does. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me. I gotta send Kuro some stuff. That's right. She's admitted to never having seen any of the life or death streams. There are three of those out there, and she's gonna have... She doesn't have to watch them all, but see if you can find a highlight. So... I am on one of those streams for approximately 30 seconds. Aww. Where you murdered a man just to show me that you could. Yeah. Hey, we don't know, hey, we don't know that he died. He's, I, I shut off the gas. They didn't show us anything else. He killed a man in Reno just to watch him die. Mm -hmm. um, so this text here back in Growing My Grandpa um, is still the um, counselor, and I will be reading the part of Adrian. Yes, oh, should we sorry. play a game? I, I totally forgot. I'm sorry. At the moment, we're playing a visual novel, but there will be gameplay aspects later, I promise. How are you liking your new house? You've told me you used to live close by. But it still can be a big adjustment. A new room, a new school. I'm still picturing Shinji in this spot. No, trust me, Shinji comes later. The basement, I like that. The basement? Yeah, there's lots of cool stuff. Mom and Dad sent me down there. Your mom and dad made you go? Yeah. But there's lots of cool stuff. Well, that's not why they sent me down there, though. Why did they send you down there? Fighting. They were fighting. Shouting. I came in to help, and they shouted at me. They said, go clean up downstairs, so I went. That sounds tough. Do they fight a lot? No. Well... Day. Um. It's all right, Adrian. Oh Christ! Maybe you should tell me more about the basement instead. <laughs> Things you shouldn't do with a child. Okay. Well, it was weird at first. The stuff down there, but cool. Cool. I found something living, sort of. That's not interesting, it's alarming. <laughs> Living is sort of, no matter the context, but that it's... should always trigger an alarm. Silver, it's her, her, her st stifled imagination is now coming out, and not you... For the sake of the child, that's and... what counseling is. Yeah, and you are going to play along with her to give her the outlets she so desperately needs, and in so doing... 
begin to find some of the patterns and symbols that she's attracted to that may be able to allow you to help her better. Uh, I, I hear your pseudo-psychology. Why do we <laughs> gotta tell you this? I'm not a pseudo-psychologist! <laughs> Bullshit, you're not. He's a... I am... I, I'm the pseudo-psychologist here, <laughs> goddammit. And we'll defer to my expertise. Indeed. Tell me more about the shape of my skull. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm also a very interesting Adrian. Please tell me more. And I'm only a surgeon, excuse me. Yeah, he's a pseudo surgeon. <laughs> By indulging her in her fantasies and stories, I was able to glean more of an understanding of Adrian's anxiety surrounding her home and parents. The symbols of Adrian's story seem to carry their own traumatic weight, and her exploration of the basement may very well be a vehicle for the conveyance of her anxiety. Whatever might come of our next meeting, whether she will engage in symptoms, please, I will set down her story here. So, um, real life psychologist, how was any of that? Uh, he uses a lot of open-ended questions. There were, well, there was only one, uh, yes or no question that he asked, and that's pretty good. Uh, yes or no questions, you can get a socially acceptable answer, like one of these answers is more preferred by the test, or the, by the question giver, so I will give them that answer. Oh, I know There's it an well. Open from? Therapy and wanting to win. Ah. Uh. Ah, <laughs> uh, Christ. I'm so glad that I'm not your therapist. I am too. Uh. <laughs> Are we going to voice the narrator? Um, if you like. All right. Can you, can you go back? We lost one. I cannot go back, but I can tell you that it says Adrian's story begins by going to the basement with the purpose of cleaning up. She brings a trash receptacle and in order to help her do so, or something like it. She discovered one of the walls was covered in plastic bags. She went to investigate, intent on tearing away whatever they covered. Oh! Oh! Ooh. How? F how new FMB. It's not quite FMV. I'm not this, exactly sure what it is. This instantly takes me back to playing games like Inca. And, yes! And they are the Incas, kings and knights. Time? Something? Lost in time. Lost, Lost in time. time. You're I thinking, fucking if you're thinking love Sierra, Lost in time. time. Upon removing the plastic trash bags from the wall, she noticed the interior lining was covered in glass. Um, Silver, did you have any more notes for our pseudo-psychologist? Um, I don't really like to deal with symbolism. Symbology doesn't really... It sim Symbolism is really often prone to uh, being tainted by how the counselor or the assessor or the psychologist sees the symbol rather oh, than yeah. how the other person sees the symbol. Yeah, that's why but, most literary criticism is bullshit as far as I'm concerned. Like, I had a patient with, like, real bad schizophrenia and she would often see lakes of fire and so I naturally assume mm. that these were, like, un pleasant experiences when she was having the lake of fire hallucination but so she fantasizes about being in heat oh jesus christ please do not sexualize my face <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's a line and turns out i think we found it <laughs> i i am amazed but go on uh but it turns out that um she associated the Lake of Fire um, hallucination with feeling like the 